What I'm about to show you is a simple and effective Git workflow for removing all those console.log here statements from your code before merging into main or sending a pull request or whatever. It's perhaps not the most technically correct way to go about it, but it is easy. I'll be using lazy git to demonstrate because lazy git is awesome and it's what I use all the time, but if you're not using lazy git, you should be able to follow the same general idea using whatever tool you prefer. If you do want more of an overview of how lazy git works, I'll link to a separate video I have on that. Okay, so let's say I have some changes that I haven't committed yet. Something to be aware of in Git is that, as well as working at the level of an entire file, we can also work with just individual hunks within files. I don't know why they are called hunks and not chunks, but the main idea is that each hunk represents some single difference in the file. So I can view the diff for each of these files I have changed, and from within those files I can select individual hunks that I want to reset, which will remove the change that I have made. In lazy git, I can do that by highlighting whatever lines I want to remove and then hitting D. Now I've removed all of my shameful console logs and whatever other junk I don't want, and I can make a nice clean commit. This works well if you clean up each commit as you go, and you probably should do that, but realistically most of us will probably make a bit of a mess over multiple commits, and we will want to clean that up too. I've set up a few example commits here with some console logs. I want to remove those from all of the commits, but keep the other changes. So what we can do now is reset to the commit that is just before the section we are interested in cleaning up. We will do a mixed reset so that all of the commits after the one we are resetting to will be removed, but it will still keep all of the changes from those commits in our working tree. Make sure not to do a hard reset because you will lose all of your changes. In lazy git we can do a mixed reset by hitting the G key and then choosing the mixed reset option. And now we are in the same position as before. We can just review the changes, remove any hunks we don't want included, and then commit these changes. This also serves a double purpose of allowing you to do a self code review with all of your changes in one diff. And now we have a single cleaned up commit. Keep in mind that this will effectively squash all of your commits into one single commit. If you would prefer to keep the history of your commits, you can still use the same process, but you might want to create a separate cleanup branch where you perform these steps and then you can merge them back in. Alternatively, rather than using a separate cleanup branch, you might also prefer to use it as an opportunity to redo your commits in a way that more cleanly captures the intent of each commit. If you like this video, feel free to drop a like or subscribe before you go, and I hope you have a great day.